Casino at Yonkers Raceway sets the backdrop for the New York Daily News Golden Gloves, the oldest and largest amateur boxing tournament in the world. The tournament consists of approximately 10 weeks of elimination bouts held throughout the New York metropolitan area. A field of hundreds of fighters are narrowed down through these bouts, which leads to the finals. The tournament started in 1927 and has been the launching pad to many professional fighters such as Sugar Ray Robinson, Riddick Bowe, Floyd Patterson, and more recently Zab Judah, Polly Malinaji, Danny Jacobs, and Marcus Brown. Tonight, we have the opportunity to speak with some of the athletes about their performance in the ring as well as the discipline that it takes to compete at this level. This is the New York Daily News Golden Gloves and it's amateur boxing at its best. With us, Pamela Baker, the winner of 101 uh, Women. Tell us, you, you know, you, you threw a lot of punches, you had her in the ropes. Could tell us a little bit about your performance. Uh, just pretty much steady, constant punching is, is what's going to win a fight. So the minute you, you give in is the minute they're going to jump on you. So um, just from my coach, I learned to never stop punching. Whether I'm getting beat up or not, you got to just kind of keep going. You know, it's what's going to win. So um, it's the, the best way I can put it. <laughs> and you did throw a lot of punches out there. You know, as a female, what brought you into what brought you into the game? Um, honestly, I have a pretty stressful job. So uh, initially, it was kind of to get rid of some stress from uh, from work. Um, I run a pretty crazy nonprofit center. Um, it's constant, crazy, crazy stress. So uh, it's a really good relief for me when I get home every night. Oh, where's the nonprofit center at? Um, it's actually out in Jersey City. So um, instead of the commute driving home, I drive to the gym and and, uh, and work it out that way. So um, started as that, and then you know eventually got to uh, my goal of kind of hitting the, the gloves and working real hard with uh, with Bernie Lenahan. It kind of helped me reach that goal. Yeah, tell them a little bit about the discipline that it takes to compete in, in, in its competition. Uh, you definitely have to be uh, dedicated. It's um, uh, six, seven days a week, nonstop. So uh, I go right for work. It's almost like having a second job, to be honest with you. So it is a second job. <laughs> much, uh, I could definitely say uh, that's that's kind of putting it nice. I think I might work harder at this than I do at my regular work. <laughs> so. Did you know anything about her before you went into this competition? Uh, no, no. I, I saw her at the last weigh in, and that was it. So just uh, just kind of got to get in there and, and just can't really think about the other person. You know, you just got to go. You have a lot of tattoos, though, also. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty calm. Again, again, it used to be a stress reliever. So instead of uh, doing like, so when I was younger, I used to get pierced. Now I kind of get tattooed. So it keeps me out of trouble, you know. So. <laughs> Will you be back? Yes, definitely, definitely. I'm already, I was just talking to him on our way here about what, what the next, uh, next step would be, or next tournament, or fight, you know, whatever I can get, I'd be glad to do. So. Would you go professional at all? Or? It's, it's sort of difficult for women because unfortunately we can't get, we can't get the fights. They don't, they won't, they don't want to put us on television. Yes. television. Definitely what, uh, what I heard. It's better to say amateur as a, as a lady is what I've been told, but um, I would be open to almost anything. So I, I definitely, I love it. So and congratulations. Hey, you want to say a shout out to your fans? I do. Um, just uh, everybody who came tonight, everybody who, who you know, kind of stands by me. Uh, my wife, Maz, my family, my, my real good friends. So uh, everybody who made it out tonight, I really appreciate it. Especially my coach, who obviously them, and a bunch of the girls at the gym that I, I wouldn't be able to do this without. So I'm going to work it out. <laughs> good luck. So, hey, put them up for me there. Hey, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> With this Yahara Perez 101 uh, weight class, wonderful job out there. Tell, tell us maybe what weren't you quite expecting? Um, I guess uh, I'm getting tired. I wasn't expecting getting tired at the last round. I got kind of got tired. Uh, your corner kept saying forward, forward. Do you want to explain that a little bit? Yeah, the, what forward means is that they keep telling me to move, to keep going, like to move forward and not move back or to the side. They kept telling me to go forward because that's how this fight was supposed to be. You were in the ring, you know, you sort of got caught a lot in, in, in the ropes. Yeah, I mean, I like fighting in the ropes. Oh, you do? Yeah, I like fighting in the ropes, but I guess it didn't work out with this fight. I have to keep training not to get in the ropes. Yeah, th that can be a little dangerous. Yeah, don't it can be, but I feel like I, feel, I fight better like that, but got to keep trying. Tell us what boxing gym do you box out of? Um, gym X Boxing in Malcolm X. And, and, and tell me about your trainers and, and your mentors. Um, my trainers are Amanda Serrano, Cindy Serrano, and Jordan Maldonado. 
Yeah, those are my trainers. Will you be back next year? Yeah, of course. Okay, hey, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Empire City Casino at Yonkers Raceway. Hope you've enjoyed the show and thanks for watching.